Well, welcome back, my dudes. It is Sunday. Pardon my breathing. Sunday, June 16th. It's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day out there to all you dads. I'm a cat dad, so this day doesn't necessarily count to me, but it can. Um, I am actually doing a, sh well, I shouldn't say a straight uphill, uh, but it's been, you probably can't tell on camera, but it's been uphill and I've gone like <laughs> 0.2 miles <laughs> had to stop and catch my breath. Um, but we are doing today the Love and Panther Run Trail. This is a four mile exactly trail according to all trails. Um, and then this is rated hard. This is where I say you can have a shorter trail, but it can be extremely difficult. Now looking at the map um, or the GPS where it says your elevation gain is, uh, we're going uphill for approximately about two miles, maybe a little less than two miles. But now that I've caught my breath, we can get going up at the top of this hill and see what the summit brings us. This is definitely getting the old heart pumping. Whew. I don't even completely know our elevation gain today. That might be a good thing to check. So our elevation gain today is 1,200 and 27 feet and we are currently only at 94 feet <laughs> so we got a long way to go hang out with me my dudes because i'm not doubting that this vista up here will be pretty amazing providing i live to make it up there <laughs> Coming to what looks to be, whew, again, pardon my breathing, guys. What looks to be an opening, and it appears we got some rocks up there that we're going to check out. But again, we want to be careful because the rattlesnakes like to hang out in the rocks, on the rocks. Just be mindful. All right, here's our rocks. I'll admit the pictures on all trails is what kind of drew me to this trail. Not sure of what the rocks exactly were, but either way, I think the rocks are pretty cool. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go up. And beyond those rocks is some pretty level ground. By the way, guys, using my tripod for this adventure. Um, so if there's any camera unbalances or whatever, I do apologize. I actually get a, need to get a better camera attachment for the top. One that holds a little bit more sturdy. And we're going to go downhill, but whatever goes down usually is going to come back up. So a little bit of a FYI that I literally just realized. Empty your water bladder of all water contents after every hike and refill it with fresh water because uh, I had about, I have a three liter hydration bladder and I had about a liter left from our last hike and uh, I left it in the bladder. Well, leaving it in the bladder for a week, kind of the water kind of absorbs the taste of the rubbery plastic liter bag or bladder bag and uh, doesn't taste the greatest. Ugh. 
By the way, dudes, it was pretty early in the morning when I got here. It's actually just after nine. And after doing my stretches, making sure I had everything packed up in my pack and talking with a gentleman down at the parking area, <clears throat> um, it's about 9.50 in the morning. So fairly early for me to be out on trail. That's all right though. <clears throat> Mornings are better anyway because of the cooler temps. Today it's supposed to hit uh, 78, they say. The sun is out. But it's not at its full potential. Lots of birdies chirping today. Our trailblazings for Panther Run here are yellow. I'm sure you've noticed the yellow blazings on the trees. Betcha there's some snakes back in there, but we ain't gonna bother them. <laughs> gonna lie today my friends today is <laughs> sorry that branch liked me um today is a little bit of a mental fight for me uh had a gig last night made it to bed about 2 30 this morning I was back up at seven to let the dogs out and I knew I had to leave a little extra early today because it is Father's Day and I don't want to get to see my dad super late in the day. So I'm out here earlier. It's only an hour away from home. I find little trails here and there that aren't far away from home that I can do that seem interesting. but. Again, I will state, I've done a lot of trails in the area, and I catch my breath. Now I have to drive an hour and a half, two hours, just to, even sometimes up to three, just to get to a place I've never been before, or something that might be interesting for you guys or myself. I think we're starting our trek back uphill. Whew. Nice and slow today. Not overexerting myself. We've hit 553 feet of elevation. So we're about halfway there. Man, right off the bat, this was straight uphill. But we got some more rocks coming. All right, put the lens in wide angle so you can guys can see more of what I see. Sometimes I'm not a fan of these angles because it makes you feel like you're walking in a bubble or maybe looking through a tube.
There's so much to see up here, dudes. It's the other side. Holy crap. That's pretty big. Mosquitoes up here. Trying not to move the camera too fast. I don't want y'all dizzy and whatnot. Not too much. It's a long way down. <laughs> All right, more rocks. Here we go. This is cool. climbing in between these um like I said there's rattlers out here so right now I still feel like it's a little cold for them to be out hasn't reached that temperature they like anywhere from what is it the 70s the low 80s Wow <laughs> We're Definitely definitely going pictures. Alright. Roll on through here. Again, all the rocks you can see appropriately named Roxylvania. <laughs> Alright. Our trail continues this way. Alright, so we follow this trail up and around. Yep, we gotta make it right. And I guess this would kind of be like our first vista, maybe? Not bad. See, I told you the weather was nice today. It's cool right now. All right, our trail continues back here. We are officially just over a mile in, my dudes. <laughs> I feel like we've gone a lot farther than that. But then again, when you're working hard going uphill. Whew. All right, we got some kind of signage coming up here. This might be where we connect with the love trail, the love trail. <laughs> I ain't getting no loving, darn it. At least not here on the trail. Maybe when I get home. <laughs> All right, we got orange blazes there. 
Oh, this is the continuance of Panther Run. This is actually, um, Panther Run is a, obviously its own extended trail, but yeah, we need to go to Love Run to complete our loop. Panther Run is actually an out and back trail connecting with Love Run. This makes it a loop. So now our trail blazings are orange. All right, we came from that way. We're gonna continue this way. So I wanna show you something that is extra confusing about all trails. See the green? We're supposed to be following that. That's supposed to be Love Run. But you see the black dotted line? That's Love Run, and we're walking on that. That's what I mean. The, the trails aren't exactly like the clearest when it comes to the app. Tell you what, it's just something about them birds. Makes you feel like you got company. The happiness of the birds and the way they sound. I like it. Unless it's early morning and I got woken up by a bird doing the same chirp over and over and over. That happened to me this past week. By a show of hands in the comments, <laughs> who else does that happen to? <laughs> but I will say, I love that morning breeze as it blows in the window, the fresh air, the moisture air. Yeah, baby. See up ahead, we got a sign here. We'll see what that says. Most likely it's the separation of another trail connected to Love Run. Mid-state trail, Love Run trail, closed to all vehicles. Well, we're not a vehicle, so that's cool. This is part of the mid-state trail. So eventually when I end up doing that, I am going to be in some familiar places. Cool beans, man. I wonder if that's part of a trail or just like a game trail, but our trail continues this way. And the turn in that actually puts us on track for our loop. Basically our halfway point. It's been a, except for the beginning, <laughs> it was uh Pretty hard in the beginning, all uphill. Uh, Mindy, I know you're gonna watch this. You would not have enjoyed that, like at all. Um, I didn't enjoy, I don't enjoy going uphill. I would just rather go uphill than downhill. Um, I'd rather walk on flat ground like I'm doing right now. <laughs> but this has been, it's been a really nice trail. I. Uh, didn't think it was going to be this nice, but it's super shaded here. Lots of bugs, but you're in the woods. Uh, it's morning time. It's still moisture in the air. Uh, I am next to water. There is a little stream down here. But, yeah, this is pretty much just a straight trek right back to the parking lot. Didn't it go fast today? I think it went really fast today. No complaints, I guess. <laughs> um, this trail said we are supposed to be on it two hours and 40 minutes, two hours and 36 minutes, something like that, around the two hour and 40 minute mark. Um, I don't know, we may or may not be because we seem to be hauling you know what. <laughs> Good thing I sprayed my clothes down last night with permethrin. 
walking through these tall bushes and whatnot. Although, even though I do that, it's still a good idea to check yourself for ticks when you get home. Even when you get back to your vehicle, you don't want them hopping off in your car then risking your spouse or your kids getting them. If you didn't know better, it looks like trail maintenance put them like that on purpose. Check out little gully down there. That's pretty cool. Be a good spot to camp down in there, it looks. Nice and flat. I think we're coming upon somebody's cabin or um, trail maintenance shed or something. Mid-state trail, love run trail. Then we got our trail markings over here. So this must be an outhouse, I'm guessing. Couple bug zappers. No one was home. I think this is more or less a hunting cabin. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right, we'll get back on trail. Love run trail. Here we go. Out through the ferns. <laughs> okay, so upon looking at GPS, we actually have to continue down this way to complete our loop. You can see down in there, there's a trail. So we're going to keep going. Looks like Somebody drives her vehicle up in here or side by side. Sometimes paying attention to GPS is the pain in the butt, but it's a good thing you do because if I went that way, I'd be going way out of my way. So I know I've stated hate, I've stated, <laughs> I've hated, <laughs> excuse me, roadwalks before. These ones are just a tad bit different. Uh, yeah, this is a man-made road, but it's out in the woods. You still feel like you're kind of on trail, essentially. Uh, it's not like walking along a road where cars and other motorized vehicles are driving. It's nice. Like I said, here in them birdies, Chirp, it's a sense of like security, making you feel like you're not alone, I guess. Seen some bicycle tracks back there, so they look fairly fresh. Probably somebody out for a even earlier morning ride. I'm gonna have to stop and have a tinkle here in a minute. My coffee is finally making a comeback I had this morning. That and I hydrated a little bit before I came. A couple bottles of water. By the way, I have my three liter hydration platter from Teton Sports with me today. I don't know if I said it in last week's video, but I'm kind of rather enjoying the bladder because all I got to do is just lift up this straw you know and pull the nozzle out and suck on it and there you go 
there's your water. Uh, when I have a water bottle or an algae bottle, whatever you want to call it, I have to stop, take my pack off, get the water bottle. Unless I was to get one of them uh, shoulder strap bottle carriers, which I plan on doing. Uh, it's just a matter of time right now. I'm planning on a huge adventure in two weeks, my friends. In two very awesome weeks. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Life is a highway. I want to ride it all. All right, all right, I promise I'll stop. I can't sing anyway. <laughs> Looks like up ahead, it turns back into a regular gravel trail instead of a road. It might be just wide enough to fit a vehicle up through, but not much. Whew, did she scare the ever-living sh out of me. <laughs> uh, I was filming that walkthrough scene, or just my foot there. Um, when I turn back and look up, bam, she's there running towards me. <laughs> She couldn't apologize enough, but um, that just goes to show you, you're not always alone out here, whether it be wildlife or other people. And she snuck up on me, like snuck up on me. I heard no footsteps, the trails wet. I heard no splashing, no clunking around in the mud. Um, whew. <laughs> that, that got me stimulated. <laughs> Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Okay. All right. Country road. Take me home. <laughs> All right, guys. I promise I'm done. I'm just being a smarty pants. I'm used to saying smart Alec. I kind of had a brain fart there. <laughs> so, according to all trails, We've got 0 0.30 miles to go, which is obviously not much longer. But if you look at the GPS, looks like we got about a mile. Um, I don't know, but this was a hard trail in the beginning. Um, but I definitely say it's pretty easy after that because um, I know a lot. Most people like going downhill. It's downhill or it's flat like it's been for me for like the last mile. So, Love and Panther Run Trail. Uh, I don't know what state forest we're in or part, or yes I do, Little Pine State Park. <laughs> what am I thinking? Um, I don't know what forest the state park is in. I think that's what I was trying to say. So, when I figure out what forest it's in, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> oh, man. I do have to find a spot to tinkle. And I'm glad I didn't stop and tinkle when I was going to, or else that lady would have come running up on me. <laughs> Surprise! Here's my manhood. <clears throat> that would be bad, especially with the world we live in today. Well, maybe we are close to the road. Um, I just seen a car drive by, but no hunting in this area. It's probably a good thing. I mean, it's not hunting season, but anyway, where we started this Panther Run Trail, um, there was basically this access road right next to it. And that's basically where we're gonna come out at, is right next to where we started. This is the quickest four miles I have ever, ever done, my friends. The quickest. Holy crap. I'll take it though. Some kind of building over there. Not sure what that is. There's a clearer shot of it. 
there looks like a warning sign on the door so probably just saying it's DCNR property or security cameras or something yeah dude we're done with this trail already holy crap That wasn't long at all. Kind of wondering when we cross that little bridge by the hunting cabin there, I'm kind of wondering if that was the extension of Love Run to make it the extra four miles. Because I, I, right now, I'm sitting at mileage of three miles exactly. So, I don't know. And that's another one in the books, my dudes. Not quite as long as I thought it was going to be, but hey, not a bad trail. Before we get done, though, I do want to tell you guys about some of the awesome things I do have coming up. Next week, I'm taking it off because it is Miss Mindy's birthday, and I want to take her to Naog Park in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, she's seen pictures, and I'm not sure if she watched my video uh, on it, but I've been there before, but I will not be filming that one. Uh, again, it's her birthday weekend, so I'm going to take her there, uh, providing the weather doesn't get nasty on us. Then uh, I'm going to take her to dinner. I think I'm going to take her to a movie. And then on Sunday, we're going to have a little get-together for her. Um, I'm going to make a taco bar. I'm going to gather all the food I need to make a set up a taco bar. And, and uh, it's also my younger sibling's birthday, my twin brothers, Brad and Chad. Not my twins, they're twins to each other. Um, it is their 35th birthday, and it is Mindy's Miss Mindy's 38th birthday. So next weekend I'm off, and then the following weekend of the 28th and 29th, my friends, I have probably my biggest adventure yet. I'm going to be bikepacking. Yep, I said bikepacking the whole Pine Creek Rail Trail. It is 62 miles in total, I believe. Um, I'm going to start in Jersey Shore, and I'm going to ride north to the Wellsboro Junction, I believe it is. Uh, but again, it's 62 miles. I have gotten my uh, camping permits for the um, Black Walnut uh, Campground. Then I got another camping permit uh, for Saturday for the Tagafton uh, Campground. It's right along Trailside, both both campsites are right on trail side. Uh, the one at, um, the first one is uh, right along the river. So that'll be really cool. And then uh, 4th of July weekend, we are going with some friends. Uh, you guys have seen Jim and Liza on my channel before in a couple of videos. Um, we are going on an adventure together. We are doing a two day camping adventure. Uh, we rented these little a-frame cabins. Um, it's going to be super fun holiday weekend and I'm bringing you guys along. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Appreciate you coming along. So y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and y'all be good to each other. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye guys. Be safe.